What's going on guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to day two of my holidays, which means it is time for more work. Okay, so today we are going to be doing too much. So today I thought we'd put this into there. But you see, I don't know. I came in today with my intention of doing that, but I really don't want to leave any stone unturned and I kind of want to depower the rack properly. So I think today, today we're going to pull this rack out, baby. We're going to pull this rack out and I'm going to bring you along with me and we're going to see if I have enough skills to depower a steering rack. Not really knowing how to depower an MX-5 steering rack. I've pulled steering racks apart before, but never pulled, never pulled an MX-5 one apart, so I don't know. This, uh, this might go really well or it might not, but let's get to it. So, mine, uh, mine's very easy to get to. So you see there's two bolts there, two bolts there, and the tie rod end. We're just gonna take them out. We're just gonna take them out, babe. And uh, then the whole rack should come out. <laughs> easy as that. So all we have to do is take off two bolts for the tie rod ends, and then two bolts for the steering rack, and we also have to take off um, one bolt that actually connects the steering wheel. Yeah, let's take some stuff apart. I think. It slides through the castle nut. Yep. Just like that. That is correct. Alright. So that comes off pretty easy. You need one of these bad boys. And out she comes. So unfortunately the end of my tie rod is split so I'm gonna have to find a new one. That sucks. But now, what we're gonna do is boom. Now we're gonna take out those two bolts and those two bolts. Plus the bolt is there, right there, holding the steering on to the rack. Okay, so it should be coming out. So I'm just gonna give it another little bit of a thuggy thug. Um, maybe some silicon spray? Come on! Oh. Come on! Ah, yes! I got it out in under a minute. <laughs> now I gotta do all the work. Woohoo! Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna be doing is taking off all of the lines, if I can get them off. Oh, better, better pay myself. Um, do you want to come off? All right, I'll be back, I'll be back. All right, gonna spray them with some magical lube. This magical lube is called Rostoff. If you've never heard of it, you need to hear of it. It is. Magical penetrating lube. Just so good, man. So good. Plan B is hammer. Oh, would you look at that? Would you look at that? Mate, I am no rocket scientist, but I am a mechanic. And that is pretty much the same thing. So. Now we have a we have a deep pound rack done. Boom, done. Easy. Oh. Squirting, squirting stuff everywhere now. So now that we have a rack with no lines on it, we need to get these um, rack ends off. Going to get the boots off. Um, we pretty much need to disas We pretty much need to disassemble the entire rack. So let's get to doing that now. Before you do this, it's a really good idea to replace your boots. Um, because you might screw them in the process of uh, taking this apart. Hopefully you don't screw anything else in the process of taking it apart and we have a good smooth day. So let's start pulling it apart. Just push them down to there. You need to untwizzle this thingy. The hell? 
Yeah, that works a bit better. Kind of comes off. So now I can just cut my boots off because I brought new ones. You know what, in all honesty, still probably shouldn't be cutting them off. And we're left with that. Alrighty, so this is our tie rod end and our joint. So we now have this little um, locking tab, which keeps this from like kind of unwinding itself from the rack, um, from the rack gear. So we need to get a screwdriver and pretty much pry them out. You'll probably need to do it with a hammer. Um, otherwise you probably won't get anywhere. So I'm gonna go get a hammer and a screwdriver that I can hit. Okay, so once you've hit all these locking tabs down, you can just get a big crescent wrench once you're in the vise and unscrew your end. Alrighty, so now I've got both ends of the rack off and I'm done. Now I'm going to take off this bolt here. It's holding on the union. That should just pull off. Probably won't replace that, that's not in bad shape. Take a little dust boot off that. And that's what we're left with. So here's the finished rack. Um, as you can see, it's got no lines on it. What I did was just put the little bungs in, put all of the bungs in, you see there, cut the lines off and then close them. And uh, shoes ready to go back in the car. Now, before you put it back in the car, make sure that you centralize the rack. That'll make sure that it actually steers straight. So we got the uh, power steering rack fully depowered and back in. Hopefully it is back in um, properly and straight. It looks to be pretty straight. Um, but the, so the only issue I ran into was the actual rack gear itself, the seal um, that was holding it in kind of hydraulics itself in with air. So to get that out, I had to press it out you know, using a bearing press. And um, that was kind of the only issue I ran into, so it wasn't too hard of a job, but it was a bit fiddly. Um, but all in all, it was pretty good. Um, now I have a fully depowered rack, as you can see. But thank you for tuning into this video, guys. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share, do whatever you want. Hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next one. Kyle.